Alright yo, how's it going everyone, Yark here. Welcome back to another B-Swarm Simulator video, and in this one, I'll be showing you the top 8 best glitches inside of B-Swarm. See, I pretty much played this game for 5 years, I've learned every single glitch there is, I think. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of useful stuff that will help you progress through this game as fast as possible, so if you enjoy, or this video helps you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and let's get right into it. Now the first glitch, it is gonna be very helpful if you do not have the Supreme Saturator. So I know a lot of people already know this glitch. So tell me in the comments if you already know this. But pretty much, if you do not have the best sprinkler in the game and you have something like the Diamond Drenchers, there's a good chance you're using the sprinklers wrong. Let me elaborate. So a lot of people place their sprinklers across the entire field like this, in the giant square, which is cringe. What you should be doing is place a sprinkler in the middle of a field, jump, and place another one. So this lets you place sprinklers as close to each other as possible. But if I try and do it without jumping, Anna does not want me to do it. But if I do jump, I can do it. So I have rights if I jump. That's what I'm getting from this. Yeah, so this glitch is very useful if you don't have the Supreme Saturator. So enjoy it while you can until Onnit patches this when he stops being lazy and updates the game. Now this next glitch, it's very short, but it's kind of funny. We all know the mobs that attack us inside of Beast Horm, like the spider, for example. If it dashes on me, I take damage, but... Just like with sprinklers, jumping is OP. If I just spam spacebar and I don't stop jumping, the mob will not attack me. Now I feel like this is only useful if you have like two bees and you cannot kill a single mob. If you're an endgame player like me, you don't really need a jump to kill a spider. Now before you get any ideas, this does not work on the coconut canister or the king beetle. But don't worry, I have a glitch for the coconut canister and the king beetle to make it easier to kill them too. So I guess glitch number three is going to be for the king beetle. Now, if you're an early game player and you're struggling to kill the King Beetle, like I know some people are, all you have to do to kill it easily is just stand in the corner and the King Beetle will not attack you. Wait, well, you gotta position yourself right. Yeah, you see, King Beetle does not want to kill me anymore. Yo, Kabuddy, I'm sorry, Stepsister, you have to be turned off. Now you're not blocking my view. Yeah, so King Beetle, for some reason, is friendly towards me, but if I leave the corner, then it wants to annihilate me. If you barely stand in the corner, yeah, King Beetle, you got slayed. Stupid noob. And as I promised, I also have a glitch to kill the coconut crab easier. Pretty much for this glitch, you have to go inside the pro shop, where the pro bear resides. And you have to equip the hiking boots. The reason for this is you barely get any jump power with these boots, and that is so the crab does not despawn. With no jump power, it might be kind of hard to get up here, but just spam, glide, or something, I don't know. Or you could just go to this corner and glide, and you're over here. Now, the next thing you want to do to kill the coconut crab easier is just go inside this corner, and itch your way towards the left until the coconut crab spawns. And make sure you don't fall inside, because you're gonna die. So the claws of the coconut crab do not actually do damage to you, so don't be scared of that. But just as a coconut is about to fall and hit you on head, you want to jump, and you won't take damage, just like that. It's kind of tricky to time sometimes, but you get the hang of it after a while. And this is mostly preference, but this might be easier to some people than running back and forth across the field the whole entire time, so this is just an alternative way of killing the crab. So let me know which way you prefer to kill it. Running back and forth and training your legs, or standing still and jumping once in a while. Oh yeah, this might take a while by the way. My attack tadpole hive doesn't do a lot of damage. Next glitch we have is for the stick bug. Now I know a lot of people do not care about Sigbug at all. Personally, I hate Sigbug because he made me do Sigbug challenges for 28 hours and I still didn't get anything good. Maybe maybe having fun 2228 had some better luck. But pretty much this glitch will help you get a very high score inside the Sigbug challenge. So this only works in Bamboo Field. I know pretty specific and pretty random, but let me show you. Now this is a bad example because the Sigbug is very low and you just want to kill it, but if you stand in this corner, it works very well with high level Sigbugs. The sick bug will get stuck. Yeah, just like this, and it will not be able to move. I'll just reset to show you guys. And pretty much the sick bug is stuck on the ramp, and it is not able to move, and your beast can easily kill it. Yeah, bro trying to escape, but bro was stuck in my prison. He might just teleport out of here, so you can just do this glitch as many times as you want or need to. And like I said, this works very well with high level sick bugs, because if it's low level, you just want to kill it, not waste time. But if it's like a level 15 or level 20 sick bug, then you can do so much damage in such a short time. Oh yeah, you should also stand up here so you take no damage from the nymphs or the spinning thing around the sick bug. Best spot is up in the sky, right next to God. And I have to alt it for because I don't want sick bug in my server any longer. Our next glitch is coming straight out of a McProsive video. So it is a glitch for cheap mythics. Yes, I'm not joking. You have a pretty good chance of getting a cheap mythic, so we all know the feeling where you do until mythic, you use all of your hard-earned royal jelly. Pretend I'm a mid-game noob and I have 25,000 jelly that I had to grind a whole day for. One click and 93,000 royal jelly is gone on the stupid Vector B. Now this next glitch will hopefully get you Mythic Beasts for very cheap. 
Now, instead of doing it until mythic, you want to turn that off. You want to do require gifted or until legendary. Not both, just one. I think until legendary is for the poor people. And until gifted is for the rich people. I guess until mythic is for the ultra billionaires of B-Swarm. And this is one of my other videos where I use this method. So this is my ult count. I got a tadpole in 333 jelly. And another one in 230 jelly. And the third one in 175. Mythic B strategy? Go crazy. Our seventh glitch will be for the Commando Shake. Now if you guys are trying to grind the Commando Shake for the Mythic Egg or the Starchy that it drops, the best way to grind is not to stand inside the war zone filled with all these grenades. What you want to do is stand in this corner right here. You just want to line it up and the Commando Shake will not despawn and you will not take damage from it. You might take like one tick of damage but you regenerate so quickly that you will not die. Meanwhile, if you stand inside the war zone, you might die. This is Beast Storm videos in 2023, time lapse of Commando Chick. So let's get just that. Oh no, my rewards are despawning, bruh. Okay, at least I got my 14 pineapples. Because I clearly don't have enough and pineapples mean the world to me. Now this next and final glitch may not seem like a glitch. And it's really not a glitch. Well, a little bit of it is a glitch. Pretty much, it's just useful jumps around the Beast Swarm map, which I know a lot of people don't know. So, so pretty much, if you use this old cringe method to get up to the Gummy Bee like this, by jumping on Ant Challenge Guide Sign, that is bad. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is just parachute up here, and you can just literally double jump. It's hacking, but in Beast Swarm. You don't have to do it, but it's just a fun way to save 2 seconds of Beast Swarm playtime. Because your days are short, and you want to get at least 27 hours of Beast Swarm playtime per day. Another useful glitch that I find is on this cactus. So instead of running up the ramp, which is cringe once more, what you want to do is just jump on the cactus, and make sure you don't get stung in the balls by the cactus too. Very important. But yeah, put a little bear, what's good dude? Made it up to you by climbing the mountain. Another very interesting part of the map, which is pretty useful for hide and seek. I know someone won one of my hide and seeks by doing this. You pretty much want to come right above the commando chick area. And you want to fall down right here. If you're not too obese to do so, because I know I am. I belong in the magazine. I'm so skinny. But yeah, what you want to do is just fall down in this little hole. And, and bruh, am I not skinny enough? Come on, dude. I've been losing weight for the past 12 months for this. So what you want to do is just fall down in this little hole. Make sure you're very close to the right. And you just want to slide down to the right. And you're in this amazing spot where no one will ever find you. Yeah, it's a pretty cool spot. I don't know why this is in the game. For some reason it is. It's pretty cool. Kind of fun that Onnit hasn't removed any of these spots yet. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And let's probably get all of my gear back. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe with post notices on. Tell me in the comments your favorite glitch from this video. Or tell me if you know any of the glitches from this video. Because I know a lot of people know the glitches that I mentioned. Because I think some people know the glitches that I already mentioned. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.